Well, good Friday, folks. I'm meteorologist Eric Teller, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Still dealing with Dorian indirect impacts at the coast, with coastal flood advisories in Ocean City and coastal flood watches all the way up towards Annapolis as we get some extra sloshing of water in the bay. One to three foot storm surge at the coast is going to continue over the next several hours, although we are past high tide that occurred at 312 p.m. and winds are still pretty gusty, upwards of 40 miles per hour. And that's why the tropical storm warning remains in place for southern Maryland. Satellite and radar combined, clouds to the east of Baltimore, sunshine to the west. That sunshine will come back tomorrow, followed up by a weak cold front of boundary. That will provide us a couple of clouds on Sunday, but still nothing to complain about. The weekend looks great. We start both mornings in the 50s, and we end up in the 80s during the afternoon hours. Quite seasonable, at least for this time of year. And no humidity to talk about, so a great looking weekend ahead. Overnight tonight, in the 50s to about 60 degrees. Slow clearing late, cool and comfortable. Comfy Saturday on tap, good enough to open up those windows with highs in the 80s in most locations. Cooler on the other side of the mountains if you're headed to the coast. Obey the lifeguards, trying to avoid getting in the water. High rip current risk will continue. High temperatures in the upper 70s along with a little bit of bay flooding there at times. Saturday and Sunday look good. Isolated showers Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Another front by the end of next week. Remember, you can download our free mobile app at WMAR2News, available at the Apple and Google Play Store, or look us up at WMAR2News.com, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest weather and news updates. Most of all, have a safe and great weekend. I'm meteorologist Eric Taylor.